This is the fourth dialogue between J. Krishnamurti and David Bohm in Ojai, California, 1980. Would it be all right if we started you and I and they could later on join in? I would like to ask a question which may lead us to something. What will make man, a human being, change deeply, fundamentally, radically? We have had, he has had crisis after crisis. He's had great many shocks. He's been through every kind of misfortune, every kind of war, personal sorrow, and so on. And little affection, little joy. But all this doesn't seem to change. What, what will make human being leave the, the way he's going and move in a totally different direction? I think that's one of our great problems, mm. don't you? Yes, well, I mean, what you say is true, I mean, but we don't... Uh... Why? And what, I mean, if you, if you were concerned, as one must be, if one was concerned with humanity, with human beings, with, with all the things that are going on, what, what, can, what would be the right action that would move out of one direction to another? Is this question valid? Is it has any significance? Well, unless we can see this action, you know, it's huh? not. Unless we can see this action, <coughs> it won't have much significance. I mean. Has the question any significance? Well, what it means is really indirectly to ask what what is holding people. Yes, indeed. Same question. If we could find out what is holding people in their present direction, is it the basic conditioning of man, the basic being, this tremendous sense of egotistic attitude and action? Well, which won't yield to anything. But if you say it won't yield to anything, then... I mean, which, I mean, which apparently yes. doesn't seem to yield mm -hmm. at all. It's, it appears to change, it appears to yield, it appears sometimes to say yes, but it's all, the centre remains the same. Perhaps this may not be in the line of our dialogue for the last two or three days, two or three times, but I thought we might start with that, if that's no value, if that doesn't lead anywhere. Well, have you some notion <coughs> of what is holding people? I mean, in, in something that would really change them? I think so. What is it? Then? I mean, this has been the question of 
a very serious human. Mm. What is what is it that's blocking? Do we approach it through environmental conditioning from the outer to the inner? Mm. and discover from the outer his activities, the inner, and, and then discover that the outer is the inner, say movement, and then go beyond it to see what it is. Could we do that? Right, well. Huh? I wonder if I'm making myself clear. When you say outward, what do you mean? Do you mean the social condition? Social conditioning, religious conditioning, yes, education, yes. Um, uh, poverty, riches, climate, food, the outer, which may condition the mind in a certain direction. But as one examines it more, the psychological conditioning is also from the outer, somewhat. Well, it's, it's true that uh, the way a person thinks and uh, is going to be affected by his whole set of relationships. Yes. yes. But that doesn't explain why it's so rigid. You know, why does it hold? That's what I'm asking too. Yeah, you see, uh, if it were merely outward conditioning, one would expect it to be more uh, easily changed. Easily changed. For example, you could put some other outward condition. They've tried all. They've tried it, and the, the whole belief of communism was that that would. Yes. With a new society, there would be a new man. New man, yes. New society, new man. But there would be no. <laughs> But I think that there's something fundamentally in the nature of the inward which holds, you see, which um, uh, you know, which resists change. What is it? Hmm. Will this dialogue, this question, lead us anywhere? Well, unless, it act, unless we actually uncover it, it will lead nowhere, you see. Unless... I think one could find out. Yes. If one applied one's mind. Mm -hmm. I think one can. Mind, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm just asking, is, would this question, is this question worthwhile and is it related to what we were discussing, we have been talking about last two or three times that we met? Or shall we take up something else in, re in relation to what we are talking about? Well, I think that we have been talking about, uh, you know, bringing about an ending to time, you no know, ending to becoming. And yes. Yes. And we said through uh, to come to contact with the, uh, with the ground, ground and uh, through complete rationality. Uh, but now we could say that uh, mind is not rational. You see that uh, we. Yes, we said man is basically irrational. Yes, and this is part, perhaps, part of the block. I mean that you say if you were completely rational, then then we would be of necessity come to this. Yes. Uh, Ground, right? Is that would that be fair? Yes. You know, we were you were not here the other day. <coughs> and we were having a dialogue about the ending of time. Both the scientists, through investigation of matter, want to find out that point, and also the so-called religious people, not only verbally, but they have endeavoured to f 
find out if time can stop. We went into that quite a bit, and we say it is possible for a human being who will listen to come to a to find out through insight the ending of time. Because insight is not memory. Memory is time. Memory as no experience, knowledge stored up in brain and so on. That as long as that is in operation, uh, there is no possibility of having insight into anything. Total insight, not partial insight. The artist is a partial insight, the scientists, the musicians, and so on, they were all partial. And therefore they are still time bound. Is it possible to have a total insight? It is only possible. We went into that step by step. Which is the ending of the me. Because the me is put together by thought. Thought is time, me is time. Me, my ego, my resistance, my hurts, all that. Can that can that me end? It's only when that ends there is total insight. Right? That's what we discover. Right? And we went into the question Is it possible for a human being? to end totally this whole structure of the Me. We said yes, we went into it. And very few people will listen to this, because it's too, perhaps too frightening. And if the question then arises, if the, if the me ends, what is there? It's just a, a, you know, then I, it's, there's no interest in that. But if one is not, if one is investigating without any sense of reward or punishment, then there is something. We said that something is total emptiness, which is energy and silence. We said, well, that's very nice, sounds nice, but it has no meaning to an ordinary man who wants to, who is serious and wants to go beyond it, beyond all himself. And we pushed it further. Is there something beyond all this? Right, sir? Yeah. <coughs> and we, I, we said there is. The ground. The ground. Yes. You were perhaps were here yes. being. And the last thing, if I remember rightly, is will people listen to this? So is it the beginning of this? Inquiry is to listen. And that's, I think, where we left off, if I remember rightly. Right, sir? Mm-hmm. So I, I, I'd forgotten all that, I just mm-hmm. remembered it. So I started with this question, with the question which I just began. But let's forget that question. We'll come back to it perhaps a little later. 
will I, as a human being, give up my egocentric activity completely? What will make me give up? What will make me move away from that? Not me, I mean, that's only a way of talking. What will make a human being move away from this destructive self centered activity? Come, Sinti. If it is, if he will move away through reward, then it's no. I mean, that's just another, another. <laughs> with it goes punishment. So, discard that. Then, what will make you a human being? If I may use the word renounce without reward, renounce it completely. Right, sir? <coughs> See, man has tried everything in this direction, right? Fasting, self torture in various various forms. Abnegating himself through belief, denying his himself through identification with something greater, with so on, so on. All the religious people have tried this, but it is still there. Yes. Now, <coughs> if I think. Uh, uh, it became, comes clear that the whole activity has no meaning, you know, it has no sense. But somehow this does not become evident. You see that, see, it was, people will move away from something which has no, no meaning and makes no sense, ordinarily speaking. I, yes, yes. But it seems that the perception of this fact is uh, rejected by the mind. You see, the mind is resisting it. Mind is resist resisting. This, this constant conflict, Which to of? moving away from this conflict. Yeah, it's moving away from the uh, from the fact that this conflict uh, <coughs> has no meaning, and uh, they don't see that. Are well, you the mind to say is that? not only that, but the mind is set up to purposely avoid seeing it. Almost, ah, the almost. mind is avoiding it. It is avoiding it almost on purpose, but not quite consciously. You said sometimes, for example, it avoids it consciously, like the case of the people in India who say they're going to retire to the Himalayas uh, because nothing can be done, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's hopeless. Hmm. You, mean, you mean to say, sir, that the mind, having lived so long in conflict, refuses to move away from it? It's not clear why it refuses. Uh, it refuses to stay... It ref yes, it refuses to give it up, right? Yes, same thing. It refuses to give it up. Yes, and it's not clear why. that The mind does not wish to see the full uh, meaninglessness of the conflict, you see. The mind is deceiving itself. It's continually covering it up, right? So, the philosophers and the so-called religious people have emphasized struggle, have em emphasized the sense of striving. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Control, make effort. Is that one of the causes why human beings refuse to let go? Well, that may be Their one way point of life. that people want to, or they hope that by fighting or struggling they will achieve 
uh, a better result. <coughs> that is, the, but, not to give up what we have, but to improve it by struggle. But uh, you can see man has lived for, uh, say, mil two million years. Is What has he achieved? More well, people, wars, more destruction? What I'm trying, trying to say is that people, there's a tendency to resist the, seeing this, but to continually go back to hope, you see, which to uh, that a tremendous say that to to hope that the struggle will finally uh, produce something better and i'm just i'm not quite sure if, if we have cleared this point that the intellectuals of the world i'm using the word mm -hmm. respectfully that word the intellectual intellectuals of the world have em emphasized this, this factor of struggle. Well, I don't know if all of them <coughs> have. I mean, many of them have, I suppose. Most of them. Uh, I mean, like... Karl Marx. Uh, yes, it's Karl Marx and even Bronowski, who says through acquiring more and more knowledge, more and more mm -hmm. struggle, more and more. Is it that they have had such extraordinary influence on our minds? Well, I think people do that without, uh, without any encouragement from the intellectuals. That, see, struggle has been emphasized everywhere. That's what I mean. They have everywhere. Uh, now, why? Well, in the beginning, people felt it to be necessary. They had to struggle against nature to live, you see. So, struggling against nature yeah. has been transferred to the other? Yes, that's part of it, to say, become brave, you see. If you must uh, be a brave hunter, you must struggle against your own weakness to be a brave hunter. Yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. Uh, otherwise you can't do it, right? So, is it that our minds are conditioned or shaped or held in, the, in this pattern? Well, that's certainly true, but it, it doesn't explain why it's so extraordinarily hard to uh, change it. Huh? <coughs> it doesn't explain why it's so very hard to change it. Because I'm used to it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm in a prison. I'm used to it. Yes, but uh, I think that uh, there's a tremendous resistance to, uh, you know, to moving away from this. Why? Why do I, why does a human being resist this? If you come along and point out the fallacy of this, the irrationality of this, and you show you know, yeah. the whole cause and effect and examples, data and everything and that's else. That's what I said, that if people were capable of complete rationality, they, they would drop it. Right? Uh, but I think that there's something more to it. More to? To the problem. Then, see, if people may have the irration... You may expose the irrationality of it, and for one thing, uh, people may re say, well, what happens is that uh, there's something more in the sense that people are not fully aware of this whole pattern of thought. See, having, having had it exposed at a certain level, it still continues at levels that people are not aware of. Yes, but what would make them aware? Well, that's, you know, what we have to find. I think that people have to become aware that they have this, uh, this tendency to go on with the conditioning, you know, which, uh, which, which is, uh, uh, say, say it might be mere habit or it might be pa the result of many past conclusions. Uh, all operating now without people knowing it. See, there are so many different things that keep people in this pattern. So abstractly you might convince somebody that the pattern makes no sense. But when it comes to the actual affairs of life, he has a thousand different ways of proceeding which uh, imply that pattern. Quite. Then what? Well, I think that's all we have. The person would have to be extremely interested in this in order to break all that down. You see. Then, what would bring a human being to be extremely interested in uh -huh. this?
You see, they have offered heaven as a reward if you do this. Hmm? Various religions have done this. Mm-hmm. And but that becomes too childish. Well, that's part of the pattern that uh, you know the reward. Yes. To only do something, you see, somebody might say that I follow my uh, self-enclosed pattern except when some great thing comes up. You see, people do that, saying in a great emergency they drop the self-enclosed it's pattern. It's always to concede it. And th- th- that's saying ordinarily, I, the rule is I follow the self-enclosed pattern except when something. Really the crisis comes takes up, place, yeah. then they... Or else some great reward is to be obtained. Of course. Some, something special is needed to get out of it. And then you fall back in. And that special thing is... Back again. Right. Now why? Well, that's a pattern of thinking, you see. I think that people feel it some way that it must have value, that, that people believe that, see, if everybody were able to work together now and suddenly were able to produce harmony, then everybody would say, fine, I'll give it up. I give up myself, but saying, in the absence of that, I'd better hold on to what I have, you see. That's the sort of thinking. That's that, mm, hold on to what is known better. Yeah, I mean, as, I don't have much, but I'd better hold on to it, yes, because right. uh, if everybody were suddenly to become harmonious, then maybe I could leave it go. So are you saying, if everybody does this, I will do it? That's a common way of thinking. You can see yes, it's implicit, because as soon as... Uh, people begin to start to cooperate in an emergency, then a great many go along. So they have formed communes and yeah. commun- all, but all of those have failed. Because after a while, uh, this it's, special it's, thing goes away it, and, exactly. and they fall back to the old pattern. Old pattern. <coughs> so I'm asking, what will make a human being break through this pattern? Hmm. Well, <laughs> isn't that related to the question we uh, dealt with last time again, with time and no time? You see, when there is conflict, what the no, mind... But, but I know nothing about time. I know nothing about all that. It's just a theory to me. But the fact is, I am caught in this pattern. Mm-hmm. And I can't let it go. Well, the right. analysts have yeah. tried it, but the analysts are the religious people. Everybody has tried to make human being intelligent people. And let this go, but they apparently they have not succeeded. Well, they don't see that that very attempt to letting it go or to end that conflict is <coughs> is still strengthening the conflict. No, that's just the theory. No, that's, I mean, you can, you can explain that. To I can, you can explain, as we said, mm-hmm. there are a dozen explanations, very rational. At the end of it, I fall back to this. Well, you only fall back to that if you have not really understood it. Have you understood it through, when you say, if you have not understood it, why haven't I or you or Moody said it finished? You can give me a thousand explanations, mm-hmm. and all probably very rational. Mm-hmm. And I, I say yes, very, very nice. Have you done it, or have what? I don't even understand that question. You see, when when you ask me, have you done it? Have you? When you no, I'm not being personal. Have you? When you're given an explanation, why human beings have can't move away from this pattern or break through it. You give me some explanation. No, I give you more than an explanation. What do you give me? If uh, I observe something to be correct, then the explanation of that observation is more than just an explanation. Yes, but I, I can't, I have accepted this, I can't observe this clearly. Well, that is the problem. So. Help me to see it clearly. Well, for for that we have, there must be an interest. And no, don't say there must. I haven't got interest. 
I'm interested, as he pointed out just now, when there is a tremendous crisis as war, I forget myself. I'm glad, in fact, I'm glad to forget myself. I mm. give the responsibility to the generals, then it's to the politics. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> Under a crisis, I forget. Mm -hmm. But the moment the crisis goes away, I'm back to my pattern. That's, see, that's, that's happening all the time. Yes. Now I say to myself, what will make me relinquish this, the pattern, or break through it? Isn't, that, isn't it that one must see the falseness? Show it to me, sir. I can't, because I have not seen it. Then what shall I do? As a human being, you have explained to me 10,000 times how, imp how ugly it is, how destructive it is, and so on, and so on, and so on. And you have pointed out in a crisis, etc., etc. I, I fall back to this pattern all the time. Right? Help me or show me how to break the pattern. You answer my question. But then you are interested. All right. Now, what would make me be interested? Pay? I don't know. Uh, uh, usually so, usually uh, it doesn't. It sometimes it does for a moment, but it, it goes away. So, you, what will make me, as a human being, so alert, so aware, so mm, intense that I'll break through this thing? Sir, you, you state the question in terms of an action breaking through, relinquishing, or oh, not doing anything. Take the opposite. Isn't it a matter of seeing? Yes. Show me, help me to see. Because I'm resisting you. My pattern, so deeply ingrained in me, is holding back. Right? I want proof, I want, con I want to be convinced, right? I'm convinced, but I don't see. Well, you see, then we have, we have to go into this question, what, why do I want to have a proof? Why do I want to be convinced? No, because you say to me, this is stupid, irrational way of living. And you show me all the effects of it, the cause of it, and I, I say yes, but I can't let go. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, I feel that, you know, that it may well be that all this is stupid and irrational, but since I am there, this doesn't change anything. You see that, as you may say, that is the very nature of me that I must uh, do, fulfill my needs, no matter how irrational they are. It's right? sir, it's sir, that's what I'm saying. So the irrationality eventually cannot prevail, because you say uh, that I must take, first I must take care of my own needs, and then I can try to be rational, you see, that's the... So. What are my needs, then? Yeah, well, one, some of the needs are real and some are imaginary, but... Yes, that's it. Yeah. The imaginary, the illusory needs... Mm, uh, mm. Sway the other need. Yeah. But you say, I may need uh, to believe I'm good and right and, you know, that I'll be always there. And no, uh, let, uh, help me to break that. Yes. But I think I have to see what, that this is an illusion. You see, that, see, if it seems real, then I can say, what can I do? Because if I'm really there, I need all this, and it would, it's foolish to talk uh, about being rational if I'm going to vanish. <laughs> or break down or something, you see. See, you have proposed to me that there's another state of being where I'm not there, right? And, I, and when I'm there, this doesn't make any sense. 
Yes, quite. <laughs> <That's, yeah. laughs> but, but I'm not there. Well, Suppose, that's a... as a human being, that heaven is perfect, you're there, uh -huh. but I'm not there. Please help me to get there. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, it's something different, no. I know, I know what you're saying. Please. Yeah. Well, you see, can one see the illusory nature of that very demand that I want to go to heaven? That, that very question, oh, I want to be enlightened, or I want to be this, I want to be that. But this very question, this very demand is... Made. My demand is based on becoming. Right. The more. That's illusory. No, you say that. Well, you haven't demonstrated it to me yet, you see that. That's an idea to you. You mm. haven't, I mean, it's just a theory. No, you don't see very... Show me. Well, are, are you then one has to, are you willing to really explore into this question? Or, I'm willing, or? I'm willing on one condition. I leave my condition, actually, because I want Which to is? find at the end of it something. Well, <laughs> that's always <laughs> the problem. You know, yeah. you know, see my, how the human mind yes, works. Yes, yes, that's just it. I climb the highest mountain if I can get something out of it. Mm -hmm. Can the mind see that this is the problem? Oh yes, it's yes, but it can't let go. Well, if it sees it, it lets no, go. No, you're, you're mm -hmm. going round and round in circles. <laughs> it sees it abstractly, you know. Huh? It sees the problem abstractly. That is, uh, it sees it uh, through. No, that's it. Sir. Why do I? See it abstractly. Yes, well, that's yes. Well, first of all, that's a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't go back to that. Well. Why does my mind make an abstraction of everything? Well, let's begin by saying that's to a certain extent the function of thought to make abstractions outwardly. You know, we and we carry them inwardly once again, yes, right? Yes, that's a yeah. It's the same sort of thing as before. Before, no? yes. So is there a way, I'm just asking, mm -hmm. finding out, is there something else that we are missing in this altogether? That is, we are still thinking, if I may point out, still thinking the same old patterns, right? Well, I think that the question itself, uh, you know, contains that pattern, doesn't it? Yes. But the pattern is to, the pursuit of the pattern is the is the traditional. Yes, but I mean, even in framing this question, the pattern has uh, continued, right? Yes. So, can we move away altogether mm. from this and look at it differently? Can we? That is, we are still saying, you listen to me, uh, you must be interested, don't ask, you follow? Move away from that altogether. Can I move away from all that? Can the human mind say, all right, we have tried all this. Marx, Buddha, everybody has pointed out something or other. We have tried after a million years, obviously. And we are still somehow caught in that pattern. Say, you must be interested, you must listen, you must do this. I say, yes, well, that's still time, isn't it? Huh? That's the time. Yeah. Leave all that. Yeah. Then what happens if I leave all that? Actually, leave it. I won't even think in terms of. I wonder if I'm making myself clear. Is the action of leaving all that? Not action. I say, I know you. You have told me all that. I know. <coughs> 
the religious people have said, the Marxists, you follow everybody. And you add some more explanation, mm. a new twist, but it's the same old twist. So I said, let's leave that area completely and look at the problem differently. You, the problem which is? Which is, why do, do I always live in the centre of me, 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 me. Well, sir, Would it be? Uh, I'm a serious man, a serious human being. I've listened to all this after sixty years or fifty years. All the explanations I know, what I should should not do, and so on, and so on. Can I say all right? I discard all that. That means I stand completely alone. Hmm? Does that mean? Does that lead anywhere? No, possibly, I say. Huh? I say possibly. I think it does lead yeah. somewhere. It seems to me basically you're saying leave all this knowledge of mankind yes, behind, right? That's what I'm saying. You're saying he, that. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's out of its place, right? Yeah. Leave all the knowledge and experience and explanations, causes that man has created, I have created as a human being. Discard all that. But you are still left with the same mind. Ah! I am not such a mind. It's not the same mind. Well, then it's not clear what you, what you are saying. Oh, yes. When I discard all this, my mind has changed. My mind is this! Yeah. N no. <laughs> Isn't the mind also the, the basic setup? Which I've discarded. But you, you can't discard that. Oh, yes. I mean, this is an organism. Now, wait a minute. My organism has been shaped by the knowledge, by experience, right? To some extent. Yes. And more knowledge I've acquired mm -hmm. as I evolved, as I've grown, as I've experienced, gathered more and more and more, it has strengthened me. And I have been walking on that path for a millennia. Mm -hmm. And I say, perhaps I may, I may have to look at this problem totally differently, mm -hmm. which is not to walk on that path at all. Discard all knowledge I've acquired. Sorry. Yeah, as far as this, uh, yeah, in this area, right? huh? in what we're doing in this psychological quest. In psychological, of course. At the core, you know, at the, at the source, uh, the knowledge is irrelevant. Huh? Yes, sir. But you know, further down the line it becomes relevant. Of course, of course. That's understood. I, I, have, I have one question. Um, the mind, at the beginning of its evolution, or at the beginning, was in that same position. Huh? The mind, at the beginning of whatever you call man, was in that position. It did no, not, it did not no, have any knowledge. No, but I don't accept that. Why do you say that? It's, the moment it is, comes into being, it's already formed in it. It's already caught in knowledge. 
I don't quite understand. Would you say that? Well, I think uh, it's, in, it's implicit in the structure of thought. Yes, sir. To, that just first of all, to have knowledge about the outward and then to come and apply it to the mm. inward. And therefore, without understanding that, it was going to be caught in it, you see. That, that as soon, as, immediate as, soon as the brain was good enough, uh, developed enough to think about the inward, mm -hmm. then it would extend the knowledge outward to the inward. Mm -hmm. into the area of psychological becoming. Well, but you see, if the mind is, is if the mind would start anew, yeah. it would go through the same mistake again. No, certainly not. Unless it has learned. No. <laughs> learned in a, in, a, in a... I don't want to learn. You're all, you're still pursuing the same old path. That's uh, what I'm objecting to. No, I, I think I just have also problem with words here to, to choose the right words. I, I don't want to learn. No, sir, please just let me go into this little bit of it. Well, let's uh, say that we should clear it up because, you see, on other occasions you've said, you know, it's important to learn. Huh? Uh, on other occasions you have said it's important, important to, to, to learn, learn. but course. I mean, even about observing yourself of and course, so on. Of course, of course. But now you're saying quite, something quite different, right? Yes. I mean, it should be clear, you know, that it is different. Why? See, why, why is it that you have given up the notion of learning at this stage? At this stage, because I'm still gathering memory. Yeah. But there was a stage when it was important to learn about the of mind. Of course. No, I don't go back to what I... Just yeah. a minute, I won't, I'm starting like this, sir. Yeah. I'm just starting. I have, I've lived for 60 years or 80 mm -hmm. years, 100 years, and I've listened to all this. Mm -hmm. The preachers in India, the teachers in India, the Christians, the Muslims, I've listened to all the explanations, psychological explanations, the cause, the Freud, the Marxists, everything. Yeah, I think we should go a bit further. See, that's all the negative stuff. But in addition, perhaps I have observed myself. I have observed I've myself. I've learned about myself. Yes, yes, I add that. We've add, add that too, right? Add that. Yeah. Add K. Huh? Add K. Add K. Yeah, all that has been all learned. All that, all that. And at the end of it, I say perhaps this is the wrong way of looking yes. at it. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Having explored that way, we finally are able to feel I'm it might be wrong. Perhaps, it, perhaps. Yeah. I'm just yeah. pushing... But I mean, I want to say in some sense it was perhaps necessary to explore or not, that way. Or not necessary. It may not have been, but given the whole set of conditions, of course. it was bound to happen, yeah. right? So, now, I come, I've come to a point when I say all that is knowledge, we'll put it in, mm -hmm. that, in that world, I discard it. Because that hasn't, that hasn't led me anywhere. Let me, in the sense, I'm not free of my egocentricity. Well, that alone isn't enough, because if you say it hasn't worked, you can always hope it may, you see, or suppose yes, yes. it may, but it, in fact, you could say it can't work. It can't work. Oh, I'm different of that. Yeah, it, it's more than, it's not enough to say it hasn't worked, but it actually can't it work. It cannot work. I'm not definite on that. Huh? I'm not definite on that. <coughs> isn't that just the difficulty? It cannot work because it is based on time and knowledge. Which is thought. And we, these explanations are based on thought. Acquired knowledge and so on and so on. Would you say? Well, as far as we've gone, we based it on knowledge, on thought, and not only th thought, but also the ha the habitual patterns of skill we, and all that, which all that. which is an extension of thought. Yeah. So when I put those aside, my, not casually, not with an interest in the future. But I see the same pattern being repeated, repeated, repeated in different colours, different phrases, different pictures, different images. 
I discard all that totally. And Instead of going north, as I have been going for millennia, I have stopped and going east, which means my mind has changed. Is the structure of the me gone? Obviously. Without insight into it? I don't know. I won't bring in insight for the moment. But there was insight to do that. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean to say uh, to, to consider doing it was an insight. So I, I, my insight was the I whole thing wouldn't want work. I didn't bring right? in that word. Well, <laughs> but when you said it, the whole thing cannot work, it cannot. But I think that's an insight. Uh, for me, I, yeah. I say it cannot work. But you see, then we we'll go back to the mm -hmm. idea: how do I acquire insight? <laughs> no, no, but leaving all that aside, just saying it was an insight, but the question of how to acquire it is not the point. The point. It is an insight that says, out. Yeah. Out to the pattern? Uh, out, oh, to the... out to... No. Out. It finished with this constant becoming through experience, knowledge, before mm. patterns finished. So would you say that that kind of thinking then afterwards is a totally different kind of thinking? Evidently you still must think. I'm not sure. Well, you may call it something else. Uh, ah, I won't call it anything else. I don't, but please, do you, I'm just yeah. fishing around. Which is, I, after having lived a hundred years and I see Everybody <coughs> pointing out the way to end the self. And that way is based on thought, time, knowledge. And I and I say, sorry, that I know all that. I'm I I have an insight in thought. <laughs> Use that. I have an insight into that, therefore it falls away from me. <coughs> therefore my, the mind has broken the pattern completely. That going north and east, you break the pattern. Dr. Baum has achieved this, and not achieved. He's come. He's got this insight, and broken away the pattern. Please help another human being to come to that. Don't say you must be interested. You must listen. You must. Hmm. Then you fall back. You fall. How will no, no. What is your communication with a, another human being so that he hasn't got to go through all this mess? You follow my question? How will you not? What will make me absorb so completely what you have said? So that it's in my blood, in my brain, in my way, everything, so that I, I see this thing. What will you do? Or there is no, nothing to do. You follow me? Yeah. Because I'm. Because if you have that insight, it's a passion. It's not just so clever insight and I'm sit back and comfortable. It's a passion, and I, you. I, 
You must, you, this passion won't let you sit still. You must move, give, whatever it is. What will, what will you do? How will no? You have that passion. Excess that passion of this immense insight that he and that passion must uh, like a river with great volume of water goes over the banks. In the same way, he ha- that passion must move. Hmm? Now, I am a human being, ordinary, fairly intelligent, read, hmm? experienced, tried this, that, and the other things, and I meet this ex, and I simply. and he's full of this. Why won't I listen to? But that's the old question, Krishnaji. Krishnaji, you thought, do listen. Do I? Do you? Yes, I think so. And then, no, just it goes very, very slowly. Do you so completely mm. listen that there is no resistance? No saying why? What is the cause? Why should I? You follow what I He's, he We've been through all that. We walk the ground, I mean, the area endless, back and forth, corner to corner, uh, north, south, east. We walked all over that area. And X comes along and says, Look, there is a different way of living. Hmm? Different, something totally new. Which means, please listen, will you? So completely that you, you know. If there is a resistance, one does not see the resistance. Then go back to uh, school. I'm not being rude. Go back to school. What do you mean? Begin all over again. Explain why you resist. But one doesn't see the resistance. No, then I'll show you a resistance. By talking, you know. And, but yet you go back. You fought. Krishna, you did not your initial question go beyond this, where you where you asked, uh, let's leave this listening, this rationality, let's all leave well, this aside. Yes, aside. sir. But I mean, that's just an idea. Will you do it? X comes along and says, Look, eat this. I would eat it if I could see it. Oh yes, you can see it. Very clearly you can see it. The me... No! That's what I'm preventing. You follow? He said, don't go back to the pattern. See. Then you say, how am I to see? Which is the old pattern. I don't have me. Just see. (laughs) 
X refuses you, hmm, refuses for you, refuses to enter that pattern. The pattern of explanation? Yeah, knowledge, all that. He says, come over, don't <laughs> go back. Efficiency to talk about a normal situation in the world. You oh. have meant you have quite a number of people who ask you uh, with similar words to see, put thought aside. If you really look at this, then you will see it. I mean, that's what the priests tell you. So, oh, what no. is the difference? No, 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 no. The, I'm not a priest. Well, X I isn't a priest. X isn't. He says, I've left all that. I have left the Church, the Gods, Jesus, the Buddhas, the Krishnas, the... Oh, I have left all that. Marx, Engel, Lenin, Stalin, all the analysts, all these pundits, everybody. You see, you haven't, we haven't done that. The excess do that. Ah, you say, no, I can't do it till I, until you show me there is something else beyond all that. And the X says, sorry. <laughs> but you see, me Has that any meaning, sir? Hmm. Yes, well, you see, yes. Uh, you see, I think that uh, if you say, leave all the knowledge behind, <coughs> that knowledge takes many subtle forms which course, uh, you don't see, right? You see, even... No, no, I, you, you're full of this yes. insight and you've discarded all knowledge because of that. And I keep on puddling over a little pool of knowledge. <laughs> and you say, leave it. Moment you enter into explanation, mm -hmm. we are back into the game, and you refuse to explain. It's all a good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. See, explanations have been the boat on which to cross to the other shore. And the man on the other shore says, there is no boat. Cross. No, sir. You ex, ex says that. He's, he's asking me something impossible. Right? Well, if it doesn't happen right away, then it's huh? impossible. If it doesn't happen right away, then it's impossible. Absolutely. He's asking me something impossible for me to do. Mm. Bees. Bees, yeah, very active. It's so warm. <laughs> I am meeting 
X who is immovable, either I have to go round him, avoid him, or go over him. I can't do any of that. But X absolutely refuses to enter into the world, into the ga- game of words. Then what, what am I, who have played games with words, what am I to do? X won't leave me alone. Right, sir? I mean, leave me alone in the sense he may leave personally, but the thing I met, something immovable. And it's there night and day with me. I can't battle with it because I, there's nothing I can get hold of. So what happens to me? Go on, sir. So what happens to me when I move, meet something that's completely um, solid, immovable, absolutely true. What happens to me? Is that the problem? That we have never met. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just putting it there. Never met something like that. You may climb the Himalayas, but the Himalayas, Everest is always there. Now, pass on the parley. In the same way, perhaps human beings have never met something irrevocable. Something absolutely immovable. Either I am terribly puzzled by it, or I say, well, I can't do anything about it, walk away from it, or it is something that I must investigate. You follow? I must capture it. Right? Which is it? <laughs> but then we are back in the old. No, no, no. I want to investigate. Ah, I'm using this. Here is a solid thing. I am confronted in, by it. As I said, I might run away from it, which I generally do, or worship it, or try to understand what it is. When I do all those things, I am back into the old mm-hmm. pattern. So I discard that. When meeting X, who is immovable, I, I see what the nature of it is. I wonder if I'm... I am movable as a human being, but X is immovable. 
compact, you know, the, the contact with it does something. Must. It's not some mystique, it's not some occult stuff or all that kind of thing, but, but it's simple, isn't it? So it functions like a magnet, which is why everyone is in this room. Uh, but it doesn't break uh, No, because, because you haven't let go the pattern. Which is not his fault, X fault. I didn't say it was. Well. No, no, the implication is that. No. When you use the mag- word magnet, it means that attraction. It has that effect. No, therefore it's your pattern. You're dependent. But it's what is taking place. No, I understand that. I'm saying you meet you, Moody meets X. What happens? You said <coughs> effort to understand. Ah, that you are lost. You're back into the old pattern. But even the language of meeting suggests the old a, pattern. Uh, no, 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 don't break up words. Meet, you face, you see it. You feel it, you know it, you have rec- it doesn't matter what word you use, it's there. Well, can't you say that if uh, X communicates the absolute necessity of not, not going on with the old pattern, that yes, sir. because you see it absolutely can't, simply yes, can't work. Now. Put it in your, yes, all right. And therefore that, and, and that is, uh, you're saying, that is unalterable, right? that is immovable, is that what you mean? Yes. I am movable, X is immovable. Well, what is behind X is immovable, wouldn't you say that? That they, you know, what, uh, what is working in X? This. What is working is something of a shock first, mm. mm-hmm. naturally. I am being moving, 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 mm-hmm. and I meet something that is immovable. Suddenly, something takes place, obviously. Not something you can see what takes place. M- X is not becoming, and I am becoming. And X has been through explanations and for all the rest of it. And he, shows that becoming is pain. I'm putting it quickly, in a few words, and I meet that. So, there is the sensitivity of, all right, let's put it the other way, the explanations and the discarding of many, 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 mm. all the explanations has made me sensitive, obviously, much more alert. When I meet something like X, the sense, naturally, there is a response, not in terms of explanation or understanding, there is a response to that. No, bound to be. If I'm a musician, I'm, I like Beethoven or Mozart, whatever it is, and I have listened, listened, listened. It makes me sensitive to music. It's in the same way, explanations have been given over and over and over and over again. I've listened to them, but it has made me either dull or I begin to see explanations have no value at all. So, uh, in this process, process, I'm using the word 
in this process, I have become extraordinarily sensitive to any word of explanation. I'm allergic <laughs> to <laughs> There's a danger in this too, because, you know, people have said, when you go to the Guru, he, be, he gives, you know? Be silent and you will receive. That, that, that's an illusion, you know? I, I've said okay. enough. You see, I like to say that if, when you see the, that the explanation, that the, um, that, this whole process of time and exp you know, of knowledge and so on uh, won't work. Then, uh, then it stops. You see. Now, then, uh, which leaves one more sensitive, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Your mind has become because the, sharp. Because all this movement, sharp uh, mind. Yeah, all this movement uh, is getting in the way. You know? Yes. Uh, I think psychological knowledge has made us dull. Yes, well, it's oh, kept the brain. It's kept the brain moving in an unnecessary way. It's yeah. clear, but uh, it's all knowledge. Probably. Well, no, I mean, you could say in some sense knowledge needn't make you dull, I suppose. But uh, um, if it starts from the clarity of the where we don't have this psycho this knowledge at the core, you know, at the end. That's yes, sir. You remember we said too hmm. in our discussion, um, the ground is not knowledge. Yes. Well, even, see, let's. I think the first thing is it creates the emptiness yes, to sir. see this, right? That's it. But I, not yet the ground. I mean. Yes. Hmm? Huh? Not. I mean, but not immediately the ground. No, um, that's right. See, you have stated. We have discussed all this. I hear it on the tape. It's printed in a book, and I see yes. I get you follow mm -hmm. by reading it. I have explained, you have explained, I have acquired knowledge. <laughs> then I say, I must have that. Yes. Well, the danger is, you know, it's very difficult to communicate this in a book, you see, because it's too fixed. No, that generally happens. You yeah, but, but, uh, But I think that you know, the main point, you know, which communicates, which could communicate, is to see that knowledge, in all its forms, you know, subtle and obvious, cannot so you, solve the psychological yes, problem. It can only make yes, it worse. Yeah. But then there's another energy which is involved. Right? You see, but now it's happening. Hmm. If any trouble arises, I go to a psychologist. If any family trouble, I go to uh, somebody who will tell me what to do. Everything is being around me, is being organized and making me more and more and more helpless. Hmm. Right? Which is what's happening. Yes, well, that's <coughs> part of the, the same uh, trend. That hmm? It's part of the same trend to trend, extend course, knowledge into every space. That, that to organize our lives in more and more detail. What time is it? Five about 20 past five. Yeah. Five twenty? Yes. I think it's about to stop, five. don't you? Shall we meet again? Well, we, on Saturday we suggested. Yes, let's do it at the same time, yeah.